Uh, this is not the only time this has happened. And, you know, this has happened throughout history. My concern is it is the end of the American empire. And because that's what happened with the end of the Roman empire. And what happened at the end of the Roman empire, the, uh, the, the leaders of Rome debased the currency that they, they were taking silver coins and gold coins they were filing them and melting them and doing all these goofy things. They were fighting wars, you know, we're still fighting wars that we couldn't afford, they couldn't afford. And they started taxing the worker. And back in Roman times, the worker was the farmer or the yeoman. And so the government, those fat asses up there were just, just taxing the crap out of the worker. And pretty soon the worker says, why should I work? Because, you know, I've got to just keep giving my money to the government. And pretty soon they built, they call them Roman circuses, you know, so they're the big coliseums and they were feeding lions, I mean, people to lions and all that other stuff. You know, today we have the Super Bowl and the March Madness and everything's the same, you know, it's the same. So when the thing crashed in 2020 in March, the debt went up and the GDP, the gross domestic product went down. So that, that's what I was saying. So we produce less but we, we raised the debt up. So debt, debt went up, GDP went down. And if this comes back, which I think it will, we're, we're bankrupt. And very simply is, is because uh, our Federal Reserve Bank, our treasury, and our government has messed up the US dollar so much that they have to find a way to keep people happy. And so they wanna just quote unquote, print money, which they are doing. So the stimulus money they print, everybody says, oh God, you know, it's because of they shut the economy down and this and that. And everybody says, yeah, so they're gonna give me PPP and all of this stuff. So just remember this, that money comes from production. And when we pay people not to produce, which is PPP and all that, we just pay them not to revolt. You know, and that's what happened during the Roman times. And so I, that's why I say it's the end of the American empire because our money is corrupt. So that's basically it. Now, would I take the money? Absolutely. You know, as we're talking about, don't fight the government, don't fight the Fed, don't fight politics. Do you know, if they're gonna give me a thousand bucks, I'll take it, but I would convert it into either gold, silver or Bitcoin. You see, every time you get a hot little dollar or a peso or a yen or a yuan in your hand, it, you have the power to do, determine what you do with it. And the more the government pay, and this is globally, you know, it's not just the US or it's not a racial thing. They're just paying everybody not to work today because the monetary system is, is coming apart. But you've got to be smarter than the government, which is not that hard to do. And, you know, like, when, uh, when the Fed talks about stimulus checks, well, the only people that get rich are Bezos and Zuckerberg. You know, they get all that money for free. It goes into them via BlackRock, a hedge fund, and it goes straight into Wall Street. And then the guys who own Facebook and Amazon get rich. So gold, silver, Bitcoin, you know, it's not, they're not the answer but they're kind of an insurance policy against the incompetence of our leaders. The Federal Reserve Bank is a socialist or a communist organization, but they'll never tell you that. The more I studied it, you know, when I was about 25 years old, I started studying this stuff. And the more I studied, the more I felt I needed a shower. You know I mean? They, they were just lying to us. So just, just remember, you know, when this guy, Jerome Powell, and you know, I call him the Wizard of Oz, but he's the, you know, the, um, the Federal Reserve Chairman. They're a bunch of criminals, and they know it, but they won't tell you that. Jerome Powell only makes two hundred eight thousand a year. You know, I can make that a week, and he's dealing with guys like me who can outsmart them, outrun them, outgun them. You know, he, he's dealing with entrepreneurs, so that's why, you know, I say to your generation. With that iPhone, become an entrepreneur. 
You know, so you, you, don't, you, don't need the, you don't need the job security. Nothing wrong with it, but you don't want to need it. And you don't need the UBI, you don't need the paycheck. If you can get off of needing that paycheck, you're free. If you can make your own money. That's the difference. Most school teachers, they're like my parents, they're good people. They're functionally poor people. So they'll do whatever you tell them to do, but it's still up to you what you're gonna do with the money and what you're gonna do with your future.